It's a debate facing virtually every school district across the Should armed guards be patrolling the halls of local schools? Last week, North Allegheny moved forward with adding officers, and now another district is following suit. John Shumway has the story. No teacher, administrator, or parent likes this conversation. It's not an easy day for us to talk about putting guns in schools. Not at all. Not for me. But Parkland changed the national narrative. And after weeks of talking, the North Hills School Board is expected next week to approve the process towards armed officers in every school. Our test scores do not keep me up at night. The health, safety, and well-being of our students and staff does. North Hills Superintendent Dr. Patrick Menorino says the board is voting to start the process. To begin to write the policies, write job descriptions, write guidelines to walk down that path. This is not, as he said, go hire us a bunch of police officers for tomorrow. But eventually the plan would have an armed officer in each elementary school and three patrolling the combined middle and high school campus. Unfortunately, we live in a day and age where, where school districts and, and children attending school have become a target of violence. And so, you know, anything the school district does to, to further increase the, the safety for the students there is, is something that, that we're all for. North Hills has worked closely with the Ross and Westview police. In a letter to parents, Dr. Manorino points out that the officers must be retired or current state, federal or municipal police officers. I think it's a little over the top. I have kids in elementary and middle school, so I am um, all for safety. I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but I would support any support that we could get you know, security wise for our students. More protection is better, but to be seen for the kids to get some type of anxiety wouldn't be good. North Hills hopes that the officers will develop a rapport with the students that would make them comfortable and be a resource. If the board gives approval next week, the seven officers could be on duty by the fall. John Shumway, KDKA TV News.